as far as rock is concerned, I think, I think since uh, the two thousands, it's been um, forgettable. You know what I mean? It's just been not that the bands aren't good and not that they're not putting out, you know, songs. There's definitely been careers started after the two thousands and rock music and, but it's, it's, it's just kind of like faceless. Like there's no, there's no rock stars. There's no guitar stars. There's no rock, you know, rock singers. And if you look in the nineties, look at all the great frontmen. you know, you had Chris Cornell and Lane Staley and Eddie Vedder and, and uh, Zach De La Roca and Jonathan Davis and, and so on. And then the two thousands and on, I couldn't even tell you who a singer is, you know, it's like, it's so weird. So, um, I think it's because it became like this active rock uh, movement, right? Mm -hmm. Where everything is tuned down and cut to a grid and you know what I mean? And everybody's playing the samples live and the singers, they, they, they all kind of, they all, they all sing the same. So you listen to active rock radio and it sounds like the same band for 45 minutes. You know, there's no dynamics between bands. There's no like, mm -hmm oh, that's this band and that's that band. And, you know, they all have their own little flavor and it's just not that way anymore. And I think that's why nobody is talking about rock music in the mainstream. There's literally one band that they go to commercially if, if they want to fill that rock slot on some award show or anything. And it's the Foo Fighters. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you get for, that's what, that's what you get for the entire rock genre. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. And that's good for them. But I mean, it's like, if you are into, if you're a rock musician, it's tough. 